Welcome to Venti Chic, the place where aspiring billionaires seek inspiration. Today, we'll talk about 5 watches you should stay away from. Buying your first premium watch can be overwhelming, and even if you're not a novice, finding the perfect timepiece is still challenging. You might have some preferences, like a particular brand or watch type, but numerous potential pitfalls can hinder your search once you start exploring the market. Instead of focusing on what you want, let's talk about 5 types of watches you should steer clear of. If you enjoy these videos and want to see more, I'd appreciate your support by subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to click on the notification bell as well. Number 1. Watch from a non-reputable source. Impatience can have an interesting effect on our brains, causing us to overlook the rational part that advises us to be sensible and level-headed. You know what's right and what's best, but amid the pursuit, the strong desire to own a premium watch can cloud your judgment. Let's say you've saved up enough and are finally ready to reward yourself with that coveted Breitling Navitimer that you've been dreaming of for quite some time. However, it's discontinued, difficult to find, and none of the usual places you check have it in stock. So you start exploring lesser known sources, places you've never really heard of, without reliable reviews. You might even consider turning to a popular auction site where the images are blurry and there's no contact information. Yet, you feel the urge to reach for your credit card. If only you could hear your sensible mind screaming at you if it weren't for the excitement of making a new purchase. Take a deep breath, exercise patience, and wait for the right opportunity to get the best watch from a trustworthy source because while the worst case scenario is losing all your money, the best outcome you can hope for from purchasing from a questionable outlet is constantly wondering whether what you bought is truly everything it was supposed to be. If you like what you're seeing so far, we'd appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Your support is what keeps us going and motivates us to bring you even better content. Number 2. Watch that's solely an investment buy No matter how much the manufacturers may try to persuade you, a premium watch is not just a practical timekeeping tool. While it serves the purpose of telling time, that's not the primary focus. The actual value lies in the emotional connection and pleasure of wearing a meticulously crafted timepiece. Buying such a watch is a blend of logical and emotional factors, much like purchasing a house. You want to adore it, feel a sense of belonging, and envision your future with it. It's more than just walls and roof, it's about creating a meaningful experience. Imagine a family of four trying to squeeze into a small city apartment. It wouldn't make for a pleasant living situation. Therefore, choose the watch that you genuinely desire, the one you've eagerly anticipated and would joyfully wear day in and day out. Otherwise, you'll likely end up selling it and replacing it with the one you truly want. While it's a nice bonus that a premium watch can potentially hold its value or even appreciate, if you acquire the timepiece you genuinely desire, you probably won't have the intention to sell it anyway. If you explore, you'll discover some remarkable watches available at a fraction of their original price from brands you may have never considered owning. We're talking about extraordinary timepieces that would be prized addition to even the most exquisite watch collections. It's undeniably tempting, especially when you come across a watch as alluring and steeped in heritage as this Breguet. It's a timepiece from the manufacturer who pioneered the tourbillon, and it comes at a lower cost than a Rolex Submariner. The allure is undeniable, but exercising caution is crucial. Number 3. Watch you haven't considered servicing costs for Once upon a time, a Ferrari 360 Modena could be yours for a mere £30,000, equivalent to an average family car with a few extra features like air conditioning and parking sensors. Equally enticing, just like the Breguet we discussed earlier. However, here's the catch. While the Ferrari might have had a similar purchase price to a family car, its maintenance costs would be far from the same. In fact, they would be significantly higher. Luxury timepieces often require frequent servicing, sometimes as often as every two years with costs of £500 or even more, depending on the complications involved. If you're not cautious, you could find yourself faced with a bill that rivals the price you paid for the watch itself. 
The internet is truly a marvel of our time, a vast source of knowledge and information that surpasses any library or scholar in history. But there's a trade-off. With all the valuable knowledge available, there's an equal abundance of opinions, if not more. Opinions are fine. They contribute to the statements and reviews we consider when forming our judgments. We're fortunate to live in an era where we can thoroughly research a product before purchasing. However, there is a downside to this as well. Imagine you're contemplating a restaurant, a hotel, or even a waffle iron to buy. You diligently read numerous positive reviews until you stumble upon that one person who expresses their dissatisfaction in bold capital letters. Deep down, you know it's baseless and should ignore it. Number 4. A watch that someone else tells you to get Let's imagine you've set your sights on an Omega Planet Ocean. You're captivated by its aesthetics, admire the in-house movements, and value the brand's rich heritage, among other considerations. To validate your thoughts, you dip your toes into the comment section of a famous watch forum, and there it is, the one person who dismisses it as inferior and insists you should opt for a Rolex or a Tag Heuer instead. Strangely enough, their conviction seems so persuasive that you start questioning the confidence you had just moments ago, and are swayed towards the Rolex or Tag Heuer, even though they weren't your original preference. It's important to remember that other people's opinions are simply that. Opinions. Only you know what will truly bring you joy and satisfaction. Impatience rears its head again, but this time it whispers about a watch that may be slightly out of your current budget. You've been diligently saving for quite some time, and you're almost there, but not quite. The little voice suggests you could settle for a cheaper watch now instead. It disregards that the watch you initially desired has consumed your thoughts for the past year to the point where it has even infiltrated your dreams. Suddenly, the allure of acquiring a watch immediately becomes overwhelmingly tempting. If you find value in our videos and don't want to miss any future uploads, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. Number 5. Choosing the watch you could have now over the one you want but still need to save for. It's easy to fall into the trap of developing infatuations with every watch that fits within your budget. The allure of each timepiece spreads like a contagious virus, captivating your attention and imagine you could step out right now and within an hour you'd have a brand new watch. The temptation is almost agonizing. This particular scenario is perhaps the most challenging to resist, the one that pulls at your heartstrings. However, it doesn't take a genius to recognize that the desire for an instantly attainable watch is transient like a short-lived candle that will burn out long before you even return home. It's a guaranteed path toward future regret. So, we've discussed the watches you should avoid, but the question of which watch you should get remains. And the answer is straightforward. Get the watch you truly desire. No complications, no marketing tricks, no judgments based on brand snobbery, just follow your personal preference. The watch that resonates with you is the one that will bring you the fulfillment you seek. Don't allow anyone to persuade you otherwise. Now, how about you? What are some of your suggestions for watches to steer clear of? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. That's all for today. We appreciate your presence and thank you for joining us here at VentiChic. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our latest videos. See you in our upcoming updates.